Hi, this is Anjali Baradwa from DMC, and today we're going to talk about uh, sales workflows. Um, let's say you're a sales organization and you want to need to have a way to track the leads that are coming in and um, follow up with those leads and perhaps even send them to production or manufacturing or whatever the case may be. Um, what we've done here with SharePoint is we've created a customized list um, with information about all the t um, leads that are coming in. In this example, we have a company that is selling t-shirts, buttons, and bags. So uh, when a lead comes in, you're able to come into here, type in the information about the lead, perhaps what product of interest they are, what are some next action steps, who the account manager is, and of course contact information. Um, you'll also notice that some of these entries um, can be multiple steps altogether. So you can see the history of an account that, um, and what's been going on in the past. So when you actually a new lead comes in, you could click on here, add the information about the lead, and all of this obviously is customizable to your business specifications. Choose the product of interest and save this lead into the database. Now on the next step, let's say you want to take these leads and actually have a follow-up process that you can um, see and measure and make sure that the tasks get assigned. So what you would do is create a sales workflow. So I've created a basic sales workflow here, and again, this is very customizable to your particular business interests. But let's say um, this company is an internet company, and they have leads coming in on the phone or email for just you know custom T-shirts or something like that, leads that they don't see all the time. So what I've said here is that if this if a new lead is entered, perhaps you pause for a certain amount of time. Um, in this example, you said three days. Of course, you can change it to whatever is appropriate, um, five days, and before you create the next task. Um, or in this case, let's say they're an existing company customer so you can wait a little bit longer. Then you would assign a task to somebody to follow up with that customer, and in this case the account manager. When you actually receive an order, then you're going to collect the PO information from the account manager and perhaps send it to customer service. So in this workflow, we're showing that it goes to customer service, the customer service processes the PO, and the status is set to order processing. Then when it goes to order processing, it's a task is assigned to the warehouse to ship the product, and the status is then set to order shipped. And finally, after the order is shipped, you send a task to accounting to go ahead and process that invoice, change the status to paid, and after a certain amount of time, that status gets set back to customer that you follow up with every 30 days, and the workflow starts all over again. So again, this is an example of, uh, of uh, a basic, basic workflow. So when one of these tasks are assigned, let's say assign follow-up with customer, the way that it's going to look is like this. So you get an uh, email into your inbox, and it tells you, well, why don't you review this customer and perform the tasks that have been specified. And when you're done with it, you can open, click on this check mark to mark the task as complete. So let's say you want to deal with the tasks like collecting that PO information that have a couple more fields. Here's an example of what that form would look like. Um, if there's more fields that need to be filled in, it'll give you the, the information about it. You hit complete task. And again, the same kind of idea, the, the workflow will continue. Once you've done that, um, you, what you can also do is to see all the tasks that are associated with the individuals in the organization to ensure that no tasks get left behind. Um, you can see here that we, I've assigned the task to myself uh, to follow up with the customer, and once I complete this task, the next um, task will be assigned to the next individual on the list. So this is a basic example of a workflow, and of course it's customizable to whatever your business process is, whether you're selling you know, custom OEM machinery, or whether you're selling you know, buttons and t-shirts and bags, or whatever the case is. It applies to any business um, across the board, whether it's product-based or service-based. So hopefully uh, you can find some advantages to using SharePoint workflow in your business. And if you do, please contact me, Anjali Baradwa from DMC, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.